In this video, I'll be talking specifically about the engine development and its production, as for the last video, I talked about the mighty trio who began the history for Mercedes-Benz. Gottlieb Daimler had to leave the gas engine manufacturer due to the multiple disagreements with the management in 1882, so he decided to buy a villa in Canston. As soon as he moved in into the villa, he started building his own mini workshop in the greenhouse by adding needed machines. Daimler began to focus only on petrol because the fuel used in engines being built in all of the vehicles, including air, sea, and land. The most important and needed technology which solves all of the problems was discovered by Maybach. After completing many researches, he found an Englishman named Watson in one of his patents. The information included in the patent suggests to use unregulated hot tube ignition system, which becomes the important part in order to gain the higher speeds. By the end of 1883, first test for a high-speed engine was successful by delivering the speed of 600 rpm, which passes the previous mark of 120 to 180 rpm from old engines. After the successful test, Daimler and Maybach used a model to create their first single-cylinder engine which was named nowadays Grandfather Clock. It was the biggest milestone in the history of automobile production. In 1883, Carl Benz found the company Gas Modern Fabric in Mannheim by collaborating with the businessman Max Rose and sales representative Frederick Eslinger. Proving an immediate success, the company workforce increases rapidly to 25 employees. The newly formed company also issues licenses for the construction of gas engines. Gas Modern Fabric is forced to move to a larger factory due to the increased demand for stationary engines. Even though Carl is putting all of his time into developing a car engine, his partners Rose and Edlinger started becoming really skeptical about the future for the company and Carl's ideas. They are replaced in May 1890 by Julius Gans and Frederick Van Fischer. When Rose has left the Benz, he also left an advice for Carl saying, do not waste your time on motor cars. With the new partners for Gas Modern Fabric, it became a success for the company as it became the second largest engine manufacturer in Germany. The economic breakthrough comes with the four-wheeled motorized velocipede, commonly known as the Velo, which is produced between 1894 and 1901. This lightweight and two-seater car is set for a good price and prepared for massive sale. The production is set around 1,200 units. In 1897, Benz developed the Contra engine, the forerunner to today's boxer engines. This allows the company to satisfy the increasing demand for vehicles featuring higher engine outputs. Between 1890 and 1899, the workforce increased from 50 employees to 430 employees. A total of 572 vehicles were produced by Benz in the financial year 1899, rising to 603 in the following year. The first contemporary automobile. Wilhelm Maybach and Gottlieb Daimler have another problem to solve which they are facing. The challenge is to develop a high-performance engine which is able to drive a vehicle. The drive machines which are named tow trucks nowadays are not available due to their weight and size as they are not able to install in the motor section. Both of them would have to create a prototype versions of existing designs in order to develop the drive concept and align with Daimler's plans. The most important factors in this process are light and compact design. Based on their hard work day to day, Daimler and Maybach build a prototype engine with a vertical cylinder which is named the Grandfather Clock because of its appearance. The output of the 1884 design is around 1 horsepower with an engine speed of 600 rpm. The compact weight saving in construction makes it ideal for installation in vehicles. It is subsequently used in the Daimler Raid Wagon also named Riding Car and the Motor Carriage. This design leads Daimler and Maybach to install an engine in a motor vehicle, the world's first motorcycle. Based on the grandfather clock template, Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach build a smaller single-cylinder engine. The first test object is a bicycle-inspired carriage with a strengthened wooden frame. It becomes known as the Daimler Raid Wagon riding car. Installing the engine vertically in the wooden frame, Gottlieb Daimler essentially invents the motorcycle. On 28 of August 1885, Daimler is awarded patent for the vehicle with gas or petroleum drive machine, the world's first automobile. The financial success of his gas engine factory secures Benz an investment by allowing him to focus on his vision of an engine-driven vehicle. The two-stroke engine is too big and heavy to install in the vehicle, therefore he spends all of his time into the four-stroke principle. 
Daimler and Maybach are looking for multiple ways to increase the engine speed. While the speed of his engine reached only 400 RPM and was proven to be less efficient than that of the Daimlers. It is still provided the power required in order to drive a vehicle without the use of horses. Carl Benz made an impressive use of his mechanical skills and talents in developing and designing the vehicle. He designs his motor cars and integrated independent construction rather than using a pre-existing car model to just install the motor in it. The primary assembly is the engine with a horizontal cylinder and a large horizontally mounted flywheel. Are happy with a single pivot steering mechanism used in carriages, Benz goes on to design an innovative vehicle with three wheels. On 29 of January 1886, he took a step of historical significance when he submitted a patent application for his vehicle with gas engine operation to the Imperial Patent Office. The patent is recognized today as the birth certificate of the automobile entitled as a patent motor wagon, patent motor car for the world's first automobile. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.